I would call law Evangel, a raven whose history is a little odd to say the least. Like many ravens of this period, he has not shared what his childhood was like, nor where he lived, or how he ended up as a raven. Yet it's what Evangel did as a raven that would see a change from what would seem to be a friendly raven to one who seems to place himself above all. That he is more important, more powerful than any raven. The first sighting of this raven would be in Nexus, during the war between Navis and Mirage. This would be when Evangel would join the ranks of Raven's Ark. Not much is said about this pilot after this, as the Raven of Nexus would do battle with Evangel two times during some arranged fights. However, in both of these fights, Evangel is shown to be friendly to the Nexus Raven, but still wishes to see his power. There is not much more to add here, as Evangel seems to have spent most of his time in the background of the events of Nexus, being mentioned only again when it is found out that he has been conducting illegal business deals with Cress. This would result in him being exiled from the Ark. However, it seems he would not leave alone, as another raven by the name of Trichuret would also leave at the same time. This pair of ravens would later show up just a year later in Armored Core Last Raven, with Evangel now the commander of the Alliance Special Forces and Trichuret his second in command. It seems Cress must have put in a good word for the ravens, as one could say it's quite the jump from being a gun for hire to commander of a force owned by one of the world's most powerful groups. However, it's here where the history of Evangel takes a lot of twists and turns, as the Raven at first seems very loyal to the Alliance, with emails about how he and the Special Alliance Force are ready to take out Vertex and Jacko, only later to then join Vertex. The switch of side has two sides to it, as in the Jacko route, it will turn out Evangel joined Vertex to act as an insider for the Alliance. His goal to find out what Vertex and Jacko were up to, and then help the Alliance take down both when the time was right. However, this is the only route Evangel can be seen as loyal to the Alliance. As in every other route, Evangel is sold on this belief that he is a dominant, a pilot who exceeds all others, and is born to be a warrior whose skills are unmatched. The more notable events that show this include when Evangel attacks the Raven during a mission, they are meant to work together on the Zenaida route, when Evangel pilots the final pulverizer in the first pulverizer route, a battle between the last Raven and Evangel which Jacko sets up, and finally, the email sent by Evangel that talk about killing the Raven and Zenaida to prove he is the dominant Raven. Yet, while it seems Evangel's sole focus in life was to prove this, there is one note in history that shows perhaps he accepted he was not this warrior of ages. For in the Evangel route, after the last Raven and he fight, a pulverizer shows up and the door to the internecine opens. It's here Evangel could simply have fled into the internecine, however, instead, he tells the Raven this. Accepting his fate, and perhaps knowing he was not the one to change history in this moment, one could say Evangel showed a side he had during Nexus, and put aside his belief in being a dominant to stop these killing machines. By the end of this year-long battle, either Evangel is one of the few ravens still alive, or is killed by the raven or a pulverizer. To finish this report, let us take a look at his armoured core, Oracle. It is a middleweight bipedal AC that goes through some changes from Nexus to Laugh Raven. As such, let us start with the oracle found in Nexus. The oracle in Nexus is made up of these parts on screen. As a raven can guess from the many reports on ravens in this period, Evangel is classified as a enhanced human. As such, his armored core oracle is overweight, without tuning or the removal of some parts like the inside part. The overall feel of oracle in Nexus, a raven may notice, is that this AC likes to overheat with boosting. As such, a raven will have to be very careful when using boosters as its speed is its strongest point, allowing this AC to fire off shots and be able to pull back or go in for a deadly strike with its moonlight blade. As for the weapons, all function well with the WL9RL linear gun certainly putting the heat on heavy armoured core foes and the moonlight can do heavy damage to any raven too slow to get out of its way. The back weapons, namely the Magaraga missiles, certainly outshine the shoulder linear gun which requires an AC to kneel before firing making the AC speed mute. The missiles allow for Oracle to keep the speed on and do good damage to MTs too, building on this AC strengths. That being said, the overeating is an issue, which luckily is sorted out with the last Raven version of Oracle, who uses these parts on screen. 
The Last Raven Oracle is much more comfortable control, and while it is still overweight without tuning, this Oracle is able to keep its heat down and can offer a Raven the airtime Evangel showed this AC can pull off. That is, until we look at its back weapons, as this AC switches out its missiles for a laser cannon, which again requires the AC to kneel to use it. This makes the strength of the AC its speed, once again, pointless, as Ravens will be kneeling there firing away while an enemy AC has all the space to move around and dodge attacks. Yet, with all this said, Oracle is a good craft, but not like this. A Raven will have to think seriously about back weapons, as the ones chosen by Evangel are made for him, an enhanced pilot. A regular Raven may want to think about using missiles instead. This ends the report on the Raven known as Evangel and his armoured core, Oracle.